Well, hello again. My name is T. Stump, and you're listening to, to the Health Insurance 411. You know, um, the previous administration, presidential administration, had passed law that hospitals had to begin to practice what's known as transparent pricing. And as of the beginning of this year, still half of the hospitals are violating that law. And in fact, it went into effect uh, last year. And then when it did, a lot of the hospitals were skirting the, the law because they were coding their websites in such a way that you actually couldn't find any specific pricing for their procedures. There's one surgical center in the country that does a fantastic job of practicing transparent pricing. It's a Oklahoma City Surgery Center, and you can go to their website and you can search any medical procedure, and it will tell you exactly what that procedure is going to cost inside their surgery center. It's a good, uh, I guess, gauge for how much procedures should cost, but then what they're potentially going to cost in your geographical area could be vastly different. I thought I would share a couple of examples. So I recently came across an article that talked about these two hospitals. Now, this is in the Boston area. You've got Mount Auburn Hospital and Massachusetts General. They're, they're just across the river, um, spread out by about five miles um, by, by, by way of car. Now, if you go visit the emergency room in these hospitals, their cost just to visit the ER, basically their professional services and facility fee, varies drastically. If you go to Massachusetts General, that visit is going to cost you about $950. If you drive across town and cross the river, that visit is going to cost you about $467 in professional services and facility fees. Both of these hospitals have a five-star rating for Medicare, so it's not a measure of the quality. It's simply a fact that the industry has not been forced to practice transparent pricing, and they can set their own prices for their services. And so you as a consumer don't necessarily know what you're going to be paying before you go in for the care that you need. I thought this was really fascinating, but now the, the law is getting stricter, all right? So before, the hospitals only were charged a fine of three, $300 per day for each day that they did not practice the transparent pricing. Now that fine has increased to $5,500 per day. If they violate it for a whole year, that's a couple of million dollars that hospitals are now having to pay because they aren't practicing transparent pricing. You know, the industry has really encouraged this type of behavior because of the way that health insurance has been structured traditionally in the past. Most insurance that you get from the government marketplace, and therefore the, what I call the government-sponsored plans, you're actually motivated to not care what the cost of care is. And what I mean by that is... <clears throat> you very likely have a deductible you have to pay. And then once you get, reach your deductible, you start to share the cost of your health care with your insurance company. This is known as the coinsurance rate. And then you have an out-of-pocket maximum that you can reach. And at that point, you get 100% of your benefits paid for for the rest of the year. So, you're actually motivated to reach those levels as fast as possible. And the only way that you can reach those levels faster is with inflated healthcare costs. So you're not actually motivated to shop for your healthcare in that scenario. Now, inter interestingly, most people don't ever reach their deductible. What this means is 100% of their healthcare can be covered by by themselves because they're never going to reach their deductible. And then everything's going to reset at the beginning of the year. So actually, the plans are structured to motivate you to not care. 
<laughs> but in reality, you absolutely should care about how much your how much your health care is going to cost. Here's a couple of scenarios I thought I would bring up. So there was a study done by the Brookings Institute to really understand the variability in healthcare across metropolitan areas. You can see here, they took a look at the blood test prices in selected metropolitan areas. Now up at the top in, in Michigan, Washington, Maryland, uh, Idaho, the pricing was uh, pretty similar. But look here, down in El Paso, Texas, right here in El Paso, Texas, it ranged from, it looks like about $200 to well over $1,000 in uh, blood test pricing. That's a significant uh, variety, uh, uh, range in pricing in uh, what I would consider not a major metropolitan area. Um, El Paso, while it's big, isn't one of our big population centers in the U.S. Look down below, they actually priced C-sections. And again, in a few metropolitan area, the grouping is pretty, pretty uh, narrow. But look at San Francisco and Oakland and Hayward, California. It, a C-section could range anywhere from $15,000 to almost $40,000. While hospitals are now required to provide transparent pricing to their procedures, there's places that you can go to see what cost might be. And healthcare.bluebook or healthcarebluebook.com is a great solution. And I thought I would pull up a very common procedure that women have, which is mammograms. Now, this is in the Dallas area. And you can see here, your pricing can be as low as $125 at an imaging center or more than $630, with a fair price being in about $230. So what Healthcare Blue Book does is it aggregates, and this is just going to get better and better over time, as these centers have to start practicing transparent pricing, but it aggregates the pricing of all these centers for the procedure that you have. You can look for surgeries, you can look for images, you can look for labs, whatever type of healthcare you you, you could need, you can look it up on healthcarebluebook.com and it will provide you some pricing so that you can try to have a, a good idea of what you should do or what you should be paying for your healthcare needs. It's fascinating to me that the healthcare industry has been able to get away with this for literally almost now uh, three or four decades. And th finally, the government's starting to step in and force some transparent pricing on, on their practices. Well, if you haven't already, please give this video a like and share it out with others so that we can start to share this idea of taking control of your healthcare um, into your hands more broadly. One of the things that I hope people understand is what they can do to take control of their healthcare. And I explain it in my video where I talk about how the health industry and the healthcare health insurance industry is rigged against you, but you can rig it in your favor. If you haven't already taken a look at that video, click on the URL. The notes will be in the show or the link will be in the show notes below and you'll have an opportunity to see what I'm talking about. Well, this has been the health insurance 411 and health transparency or a medical care transparency is going to really revolutionize the, the whole industry. I believe there's been studies that show that when it is fully rolled out and every center, every hospital, every care provider is practicing what the law requires that it could potentially save consumers $27 billion a year because now you'll have the ability to shop for your health care. And interestingly, the price of health care is not correlated to the quality of health care. And in fact, there's actually been studies done that show that the higher the care, the cost of care, the lower the quality. So it doesn't always correlate higher price, better quality. So I hope you found this helpful. Stay tuned for another video tomorrow where we'll talk more about the healthcare health insurance industry and how you can take it, take control of it in your favor. 
Again, this has been the Health Insurance 411. Thank you for listening, and I hope you have a fantastic, great day.